funny times. Funny country called Ghana. Wow. I just chanced on a, on a, on a communique, you know, a report that uh, was put out by the, by the, by who? By, by the Minister of Information, you know, Kojo, Kojo Opon Kuma, you know, um, and, and, and obviously it's, 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 it's an official statement from, from the presidency. Their position on, on, on men's gold and, 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 and the bru, bruhaha of USA, you know, all the happenings. Um, it's very sad that we sit in this country and this present administration takes us for a ride. Things we're dumb. We're foolish. We don't use our upper. We don't use our brain. When this men's gold and BOG thing started, and you know, before even SEC got in, involved, there was a back and forth. Nana Pia Mensa insisted, my boss Nana Pia Mensa insisted that BOG had no jurisdiction over their 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 their, their work. I mean, men's goals work. It had no right. It doesn't fall underneath their their rules and regulation. They don't regulate them. Go go on the internet and check. Until Sek came in there, same he said the same thing, and that is why Nana Pia Mensa sent the matter to court and said that. He was requesting that these two institutions, these two state institutions, stay out of his business so he can deal with his customers. You understand? Back and forth, back and forth. Sarah. Today, the presidency themselves, the presidency itself, has confirmed that BOG and SEC has no jurisdiction over men's gold business so it begs the question that if these two state institutions don't have a right over men's gold and their operations how come they shut men's gold down how come sec says men's gold or how come men's gold has had been has been shut down by sec since september last year how? How is that feasible? How is that possible? This is what I don't get. If anybody can help me answer this question. <laughs> and even in the in the in the in the report released. <laughs> oh God. Listen, we're all customers of men's code. I have a lot of money there. I have friends who have money there. I have family who have money there. I have big boys who have money there. I have people in power who have money there. That I recommended to put their money there. And I have my money there as well. I'm a customer as well. You know, it's sad. It is very sad. And if you, if you look at it, it is confusing as well. If you had no business, if you had not licensed the person to run a business, then why go and shut them down? And now so dust into people's eyes and say it's a Ponzi scheme, it's this and that and that. And unfortunately, some of, some of the people have bought into it. But let me tell you, not all of the people will buy into that nonsense that you're putting out there. Listen, this present administration is a mess. And they're messing everything up. The agitation by customers of men's gold really isn't the fact that government should step in and help them recover their monies. Yes, that's what they're saying. But that's not the real intention. The real intention is, what were you doing in the person's business if you had no right? If we had collected taxes from the person for five years, if you've collected taxes, the government of Ghana had collected taxes, taxes from men's gold for five years. The state institutions that were sending letters, were throwing things about, the communication minister, unless he doesn't know his job, just said, had no business regulating these, uh, regulating a, a, a men's code. Then another person that 
amazes me. I mean, it doesn't amaze me. He, he's, he's funny. It's the minister of finance. He speaks as if, oh God, he has no finance sense. The minister of finance has no finance sense. You call investors greedy. You have data bank. What is the essence of data bank? That investment bank that you have. What are you doing there? Are you not there to make profits? Don't you give profits? Then the, the idea or the concept of business is greed. Because it doesn't make sense that I put 10 cities somewhere in data bank and over time you give me 12 cities. It doesn't make sense. If that's the case. But you know, like I've said, discerning people are watching. Discerning people are listening to you people. And they can tell the lies. You understand? They can tell it. Unfortunately, you have power today. So go ahead and do all you want to do. Yeah? But there's time for everything. Trust me, there's time for everything. Wow. And an happy man said, be strong. You see what is happening? Be strong. People have gone through worse. I'm telling you, bro. People have gone through worse. And no matter what, we stand by you. No matter what. And if I were you, if true, if what I'm hearing is true about the, <laughs> the, the arrest warrant, yo, show up. You will not be jailed. None of your people will be jailed. You did not defraud nobody. You have a good case. You were running your business until this present administration messed it up. If you felt that men's goals dealings were wrong or were dubious, there were better ways of going through, going, going at it. When you started this campaign against men's gold, you said you were protecting customers and their investments. Yes, that's what government said. That's, the, that's what government said. Today, what is happening to the customers? Us. What is happening to us? We are being called greedy. Where are our investments? You came in to mess things up, not to protect us. You've messed things up and you've delayed our investments from coming to us. Wow. Yo, I, I think you, you guys did not read through the, the thing, the document you put out, because that's a clear case. And up here, read through that document. They've just, the presidency has just confirmed that they had no business. I mean, BOG and SEC, you are not licensed. With them, so they had no business coming into your 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 your, your job. In a, in mess with our, 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 our damn sad country. Like I said before, sad country, sad sad country. Hey, and happy I'm and be strong. I'm telling you. And the creative industry thanks you. I'm telling you. Thank you for the contribution, the capital injection. Wherever you are today, we are praying with you. I'm telling you, trust me. All these shall pass and you will be the victor. I'm telling you.